Is this laser light coherent? Is it monochromatic? Welcome back to Quantum Lab. I'm Joseph Studi. Lasers have three major components. Power supply, laser module, and lenses. This is what a laser beam looks like when the focusing lenses have been removed. Not what I expected. Where is the narrow beam and small dot? Lenses are used to focus the laser light into a narrow beam but the photons still diverge. Here's an example using the model CHT1230 laser. With lenses in place, we see a three millimeter dot at 25 centimeters distance. When the screen is moved to 550 centimeters, the dot increases to 12 millimeters. The divergence you see is common to all lasers. The definition of coherent light states, photons must have the same wavelength and phase. The diverging beam does not fit the definition because photons at the edges travel farther and fall behind photons at the center. Back to the image of the laser beam with lenses removed to show you what I like to call Studi's triangle. The horizontal line measures 13 centimeters long. I will call it A. A squared equals 169. The vertical line measures 4.5 centimeters. I will call it B, and B squared equals 20.25 centimeters. The connecting line measures 13.75 centimeters. Using the formula A squared plus B squared equals C squared, the result is approximately 13.75 centimeters for C. The calculation and the measurement for C are within experimental error. Here we see two photons leaving the laser at the same time. When photon 1 reaches 13 centimeters on the x-axis, photon 2 has 0.75 centimeters left to go. Laser light cannot be coherent because photons near the edge travel farther and fall behind photons near the center. Conclusion The math confirms laser light may look coherent, but it can't be. Lasers should be called coherent light simulators. Another quantum wave myth busted. laser light is described as monochromatic. To be monochromatic, all the photons from the laser must be the same frequency. A laser diode that perfect has yet to be made. The imperfections cause a laser to produce photons with different frequencies. This myth is also busted. The frequency range of laser light is commonly ignored. I'd like for you to consider how different frequencies affect the phase relationship between photons. Imagine two photons leaving a laser at the same time. Photon 1 has the wavelength of 650 nanometers. Photon 2 has the wavelength of 650.1. The difference in wavelength between the photons is equal to the diameter of a hydrogen atom. Very small indeed. Yet, in little more than two millimeters, the two photons will be 180 degrees out of phase. What do you think? Have I presented enough evidence to prove laser light is not coherent and is not monochromatic.